Welcome, 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 welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. I'm uh, going to get into one more fight this week, Sunday's fight uh, between Anthony Osquaga and Jonathan Gonzalez, a battle of two big little men. Now, it's been an interesting fight. Before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, <clears throat> join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that little ticket below. Just $5 a month gets you all the updated props, gets you uh, ask the bookie anything. Get to request a video. It's the absolute best gambling advice. The lock of the week is out, so join now to make sure you get that lock of the week. Uh, also, go over to carnivorebar.com. Go over to carnivorebar.com and get the nutrition of a steak in the convenience of a bar and use promo code BOXING to save 10% at checkout. Use uh, BOXING to save 10%. On everything you purchase at carnivorebar.com. That's the nutrition of a steak with the convenience with the convenience of a bar. All right, y'all. Let's get into today's show. Uh, also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Now, let's get into today's show. Ola Squaga stands tall, has a long, stiff jab. He straight up and down fighter, nice jab, stays behind the high guard. He does sh shell up a time. He doesn't throw in great volume. He can be backed up a lot. He will take his wrist, though. He gets aggressive at times. He gets a little wild. There's no real rhythm to him. It, 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 it's kind of feast or famine offensively with him. He, like I guess he gets a little wild. You can get him to shut up. You can get him to back out. He's, he's an unpredictable offensive fighter. He's easy to time. He's easy to counter. He shells up too much. Like I say, he shells up too much. He has long, He has good skills, some, some skills on the inside, in particular with the uppercut. He likes to stand and fight. Fight exchange. He's comfortable in the pocket. He's comfortable doing that, but he's sloppy. It's, it's easy to catch him coming in. He's a good offensive fighter that gets hit a lot and has really bad habits. But his offensive skill, the way he throws his punches, the way he places them, when he's not out of control, he's good. Uh, he gets hit a lot. Offensively, he's a problem. Defensively, he is a problem. You know, Defense is his problem. Offensively, he's going to be a problem for anyone. So you can see what kind of fighter he is. He gets hit a lot. He, he likes to go on the inside and bang. He's good. He's a, he's a good offensive fighter who gets hit way too much. Great fighters don't get hit a lot. He's not a great fighter, but he's a very good fighter. Now he's going to fight Jonathan Gonzalez. Jonathan Gonzalez is a rugged veteran. Sorry about that. He, like I said, he shells up too much. He does have some decent skills on the inside, in particular with the uppercut. He likes to stand and fight and exchange. He likes to fight and exchange. He's a fighter. He's got some skills on the inside, and he doesn't mind the fight being there. He's aggressive, and he'll open up, and he'll show up those skills on the inside. The, the uppercut is lethal. It's really good on the inside. He's a really good offensive fighter. He does get hit a lot. So, you know, what do we have here? He, he loves his power. He trusts his power. He's got two-fisted power. He gets hit a lot offensively. He gets hit a lot. So he, he's a problem offensively and defensively. It's a problem for him. You see what I'm saying here? He makes for a fun fight. Great fighters don't get hit a lot. He gets hit a lot. He's a good fighter, not a great fighter. So that's Al Squaga. He's fighting Jonathan Gonzalez, who's a rugged veteran, good little fighter. What does that look like? Jonathan Gonzalez has been in with the best. He's a good fighter. It's just, you know, how much does he have left in the tank? He's 33 years old, I believe. Yeah, 28-3-1. He's coming off a good win over Rene Santiago, but not the greatest fighter in the world. Uh, he's got losses to Tanaka, uh, Joe Burton. Alvarez and uh, Giovanni Segura. Those are some good names. Those are some good names. You're not going to be too mad at him for that. 
But his last high win of note, I don't – oh, Iwata, he beat in Japan back in November of 22, so about two years ago. He's got – he's good. Um, quick one, too. He's got a ton of experience. He comes to fight, and when he comes to fight, you're going to have a problem. It's just how much is left in the gas tank and, and how much does he... If he wants to win, he can make life very diff, difficult for all of Squago. He's sloppy, too. He crosses his feet. He's a good athlete with quick reflexes, but he gets wild and sloppy. And this is going to be a fun fight. This is going to be a wild exchange between two fighters who are good offensively with bad habits. It's a come-forward fighter. He likes to come forward. His head is on a line. He's easy to hit as well. You see, there's a lot of similarities between these guys. This is good matchmaking in this fight. He likes to sit in the pocket and fight as well. So I, I imagine a lot of this fight is going to be in, in, in the close range, exchanging. He's, he's strong, too. Uh, he's going to have a, a, an advantage in physical strength. He may be able to push him around. But this is a good fight. I, I think ultimately Osquag is too young. Too potent offensively. I think Osquag eventually wins this fight. But as long as this fight goes on, you know, Jonathan Gonzalez still has good hand speed. He's still a veteran. He still has decent pop. He still throws nice shots. He can be competitive and make this thing a scrap. I do like Osquag to win this fight. I, I thought the odds would be a little closer. It's not. Osquag is a guy that's signed with Tykin Promotions. I imagine he's going to win this fight. He He's the guy they like. He's at minus 390, which I think is way too wide. This is not a 50-50 fight, and you're going to see Jonathan Gonzalez is where I like him. Jonathan Gonzalez is at plus 285. It's not bad odds, but again, it's not at plus 300, and it's not a plus. Again, if it's over plus 300, which it's not, you're going to want to bet on, a, on, on the underdog in a 50-50 fight. Right, when you look at a fight, you say this is 50 50, and you're getting plus 300 or more, just take the dog. Because again, you only have to hit on one out of four to make money. And if it's 50 50, traditionally you're going to hit on two out of four. If it's truly 50 50 in your site, this is not quite 50 50, and it's not quite uh, plus 300. This is like 60 40 for Alasquaga, and Alasquaga, uh, and Gonzalez is not quite plus. 300, so you're going to want to stay away. I'm saying more likely than not, not with a ton of confidence, but more likely than not, Alex Quaggle wins this fight. I wish the odds were a little closer because this would be a good bet. You know, this was minus 275, minus 300 in that range, and plus two, 200 for Gonzalo. I think this would be a better bet, but we don't have that. We have minus 390, plus 285. I like Alex Quaggle on the money line. I, I think it goes the distance. I think this is a fun fight, but I think Alex Quaggle passes this big test. So I put my money on Osquaga money line. One times bet on the money line would make you 125.64. I would keep away from this on the parlay. I, I think this has a little bit of upset for potential, even though I'm not picking it. I, I don't think this is a, a, the safest bet in the world, um, but he should win. And I, again, I think minus 390 is wide. I think Jonathan Gonzalez is being a little bit disrespected here. Jonathan Gonzalez has had good performances. He's been in with better fighters than Osquaga. He hasn't beaten them. He's lost every time. But I do think Osquaga narrowly gets this done in what should be a very good and very sloppy fight. But both guys are sloppy. Both guys could get in trouble. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Guys, remember to join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month gets you the absolute best gambling advice. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you asked to bookie anything. It gets you the updated props. It gets you requests a video. Also, head on over to carnivorebar.com. Carnivorebar.com. I just had one today. Absolutely delicious. Uh, the nutrition of a steak in the convenience of a bar. That's carnivorebar.com. That's carnivorebar.com. Promo code boxing. That's promo code boxing to save 10% at checkout. All right, y'all. It is October 11th. Oh. It is October 11th, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.